Want to speak real Portuguese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at portuguesepod101.com. In this series, you'll master Portuguese pronunciation. Proper pronunciation is essential in Portuguese, and in this series, you'll learn it in a fast, comprehensive, and easy way. In this first lesson, you'll learn about the building blocks of the Portuguese pronunciation system that will help you in future lessons. The letters used in Portuguese are the same as the letters you use in English, but with a few additional accents that are used to modify some of the letters. Portuguese is made up of 26 letters, consisting of 21 consonants and 5 vowels. But be careful not to fall into a very common trap. As you're learning to speak correctly, you shouldn't concern yourself with all the letters. That's right, forget them. You care about the sounds of Portuguese, and here they are. There are 23 consonant sounds and 13 vowel sounds. By using all of these sounds, you can form every single word in Portuguese. Still seem complicated? Well, how about this? Of the 23 consonant sounds in Portuguese, you already know 20 of the original sounds. That's right. If you're a native English speaker, then you already make these sounds every day. You can also ignore most of the vowel sounds for the same reason. All you have to do, however, is distinguish between open, closed, and nasal vowel sounds. The only thing standing between you and perfect Portuguese pronunciation are three new consonant sounds and the difference between the vowel sounds. You can handle that. Now let me introduce Jade, who will be helping you to master these new sounds. Oi, o meu nome é Jade Furuta. Jade will be giving you native pronunciation examples for you to imitate, but for this first lesson, just sit back and listen to the unique sounds of Portuguese. Velho. Manhã. Bravo, seu, cantar, avó. In the next lesson, we'll look at the top five pronunciation mistakes Portuguese learners make. You'll want to make sure not to fall into these common traps. After that, we'll begin going through the vowels and consonants of Portuguese. This is your chance to learn how to correctly say all of the words you just heard. We'll finish up the series by covering some special topics that will really make your Portuguese sound natural. To close this lesson, here's a question for you. Why is it important to spend time on learning proper pronunciation, even if you're already an advanced speaker? The answer, you will be understood, and this will help you build more confidence as you communicate in Portuguese. For beginners, you're creating a strong foundation to build on, and for more advanced students, this is your chance to improve your accent and lose any bad habits you may have picked up. In this lesson, you'll learn the top five Portuguese pronunciation mistakes to avoid. These are common mistakes that students of Portuguese tend to make. So pay close attention and make sure that you don't make these same mistakes too. Are you ready? Then let's get started. Number one, can't pronounce rolled R's. For many Portuguese learners, pronouncing the rolled R can be a difficult task. Listen to some examples. Caro, Brasil, Ler. The only way to solve this problem is to keep listening to native Portuguese speakers and practicing it yourself or practicing with us. It's quite a complex sound, but luckily for you, we have a small trick that can help you. If the R is not followed by a vowel, and if you are familiar with other dialects, you can use different accents to pronounce it properly without having to use the rolled R sound. Listen to the following examples. Porta, 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 ler, ler, ler. Check out Lesson 6 to master the pronunciation of the elusive rolled R. This is arguably the most difficult sound for Portuguese learners to pronounce correctly. Um. It is similar to the ow sound in English, but with nasality. Saying the word pound repeatedly may sometimes help with pronouncing this sound. But again, the best way is to listen to native speakers and try to imitate them. Listen to the following examples. Pão. São. Coração. We'll cover this sound in more diphthongs in Lesson 7. Number 3. Can differentiate between open and closed vowels. Unlike English, Portuguese distinguishes many vowel sounds based on their openness. Openness just refers to how widely your mouth opens up when pronouncing the vowel sound. The letters A, E, and O each have an open and closed variant, and many Portuguese words differ only in the openness of the vowel. That's why it's so important to get the proper pronunciation. Otherwise, you'll likely be misunderstood. Listen to the following examples. Avô, avó, massa, maçã, 
We'll cover all the different Portuguese vowel sounds in the next lesson. The letters D and T can sometimes be pronounced differently from what you would expect. First, let's see the two ways you can pronounce the D. Saudade, saudade, idioma, idioma. Now pay attention to the T sounds. Sorvete, sorvete, atividade, atividade. The way you pronounce them varies based on the region you're visiting in Brazil. Don't worry about it too much, though, because they're just that, variations. Both pronunciations are correct, and you'll be understood regardless of which one you use. The letters J and G can sometimes be pronounced like... J. It sounds like the S in pleasure. The problem arises when speakers begin substituting the English J or G sound for this sound. Listen to Jade, and pay attention to the way it's pronounced in the following words. Julio. Agenda. Geleia. Don't worry if you don't get it straight away because we'll break down this sound in lesson five. Now you know the top five Portuguese pronunciation mistakes to avoid. Try to be careful so that you don't make these same mistakes. Want to get cheat sheets, audiobooks, lessons, apps, and much more every month for free? Just click the link in the description to get your free language gifts of the month. In this lesson, you'll learn all 13 Portuguese vowel sounds. A, a, an, e, e, en, i, in, o, o, on, u, un. By learning all of these sounds, you'll be able to pronounce any vowel that could possibly appear in Portuguese. Are you ready? Then let's get started. The first vowel is... A. La. Alface. Amor. This vowel sound is very similar to the A in father. This vowel sound is considered an open A sound because the jaw is low and the mouth is wide and open. Listen to how Jade pronounces this vowel. A, 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 A. The next vowel is manhã, cama, banana. This vowel sound is similar to the previous sound, except that it's the closed variant of the A sound. Compared to the previous sound, the jaw isn't opened as wide. It kind of sounds like the U in but. However, try to relieve the pressure from the back of the mouth slightly by moving the tongue forward a little. Pronouncing this sound quickly can also help with the pronunciation of this sound. Ah, 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 ah. The next vowel is un. Ângulo, lã, São Paulo. This is identical to the previous vowel sound, except there's nasalization. Nasalization means to pronounce it through the nose. Touch the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth and follow the groove to the back of the mouth. Could you feel the bone at the roof of your mouth? As you move further to the back of the roof of the mouth, there is a fleshy section that doesn't contain bone. This soft tissue that hangs at the back of the roof of the mouth is called the velum. The velum is raised when pronouncing oral sounds. To produce nasality, lower the velum to allow air to travel freely into the nasal cavity and out through the nose. Listen to Jade pronounce this nasal vowel. Ung, 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 ung. The next vowel is e. Serra, meta. Café. This vowel sound is identical to the E in set. It's known as the open E sound in Portuguese. É. 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 The next vowel is... E. Ser. Medo. It's similar to the E in the word ne. However, try not to carry over the I sound too much. This is known as the closed E sound in Portuguese. E. 
A. 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 The next vowel is A. Centro, sempre, essência. This is identical to the previous sound, but with nasalization. Remember, you want to pronounce it through your nose. Ang, 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 ang. The next vowel is e, sinal, dia, país. This is identical to the I in the word ski. The vowel I doesn't have any open or closed variants. E, 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 E. e. The next vowel is in, sinto, sim, impar. This is identical to the previous sound, but with nasalization. In, 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 in. The next vowel is o, avó, famosa, óculos. This is identical to the o in the word hot. This sound is known as the open O sound in Portuguese. O, 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 O. The next vowel is O, Avô, Oliveira, Ovo. This is similar to the previous sound except that it's the closed version. This means that the mouth and tongue are positioned a little bit higher. It's quite similar to the O sound in the word coal. Listen to Jade. O, 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 O. The next vowel is on. Conto, vontade, bom. This is identical to the previous sound, but with nasalization. On, 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 on. The next vowel is u, rua, saúde, maduro. This is identical to the u in the word rule. There are no open or closed variants for the U sound in Portuguese. U, 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 U. The last vowel sound for this lesson is um, fungo, algum, cumplice. This is identical to the previous sound, but with nasalization. Um, 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 um. Well done! You've just learned all 13 vowel sounds in Portuguese. With these sounds, you can pronounce any vowel that could possibly appear in the Portuguese language. Isn't that great? In this lesson, you'll learn the basics of Brazilian Portuguese pronunciation. Pronunciation refers to the manner in which a word is spoken, so don't focus on reading what's on screen. Instead, focus on listening and repeating. In Brazilian Portuguese, vowel sounds are represented by five characters. There are 13 basic vowel sounds that create several diphthongs and triphthongs, which are vowel sound combinations. Let's take a look at how some of the basic vowels are pronounced. A E, I, O, U. The more closed vowels are E, O. And there are the nasal vowels A, E, I, O, U. Diphthongs are two vowel sounds pronounced closely together to form a gliding sound. 
Here are some examples. Um, oi, el. Finally, triphthongs are gliding sounds made by three vowel sounds. Why, way, won. Diacritics are in some cases used in vowels to signify certain ways of pronunciation. But don't worry about them for now. We'll eventually get there. Nasal vowels are very common in Portuguese and they may seem a little tricky. To correctly produce nasal vowels, you should relax your soft palate and the back of your tongue so the nasal passage is not blocked. It's like humming with your mouth open and adding the vowel sound to it. Let the air pass through both your oral and nasal passages. Listen and repeat after Ana. Banco, banco, banco. There are 21 basic consonant sounds in Portuguese, represented by 20 characters. The consonant sounds in Portuguese can be very similar to English, as well as some vowels. Let's take a look at the consonants combined with a vowel. Pa, ba, ta, da, ka, ga, ma, na, nha, fa, va, sa, za, já, xa. Ha, la, lia, ra, chi, ji. As you can see, most sounds are the same in English. Let's see in this case. Chow. The first sound is the same as the ch in change. The second one is the same as the ow in out. Listen again. Chow. See how they sound the same? That means you only have to learn a few new sounds to speak Brazilian Portuguese. As you just learned, there are a lot of identical sounds between English and Portuguese. So let's take a look at the unique sounds of Brazilian Portuguese. There are three Portuguese consonants not shared with English as well as the nasal vowels already seen in this lesson. Let's take a closer look at one of these consonants. Fruta. Focus on the second letter. Ru. This trill sound is done by lightly tapping the gum ridge behind your upper teeth with the tip of your tongue. It should be a quick, striking motion, similar to the sensation you get when pronouncing the T in words like butter, cutter, and so on. Don't roll your tongue like an English R. Most of the air should go around the sides of your tongue. Listen and repeat after Ana. Fruta. 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 Well done. Note that this trill is present in the first word we learned in the previous lesson. Do you remember it? Obrigado. Obrigada. Okay, so let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. In this lesson, you learned the characters that represent vowel sounds in Portuguese and that the language uses diacritics. Most consonant sounds in Portuguese are the same as in English. And there are some unique sounds in Portuguese, nasal vowels and three consonants. We've covered only the basics of Portuguese pronunciation. If you're interested in learning more, check out the entire course we created named The Ultimate Guide to Portuguese Pronunciation. In that course, we cover and break down every single sound in the Portuguese language, showing you mouth and tongue positioning and giving you tips to help you perfect your Portuguese pronunciation. Top 10 hardest words to pronounce in Portuguese. Avó. Grandmother, here you need to hear the sound of the last O in the syllable. It should be a, an open O, as we say in Portuguese. A vó. A minha avó faz um bolo delicioso. My grandmother makes a delicious cake. Avô. Grandfather. Can you hear the difference between avó and avô? Here you have a closed O. Avô. Meu avô era um inventor. My grandfather was an inventor. Cachorro, dog. Here you may find the CH, show, and the double R, ho, a little different for you. O nome do meu cachorro é Toy. The name of my dog is Toy. Coração, heart. This word may be hard for you because of the R A, ra, and the C A O, são. A minha almofada tem formato de coração. My pillow is heart shaped. Mãe, mother. Here you also have a nasal sound, mãe. A minha mãe está brava comigo. 
my mother is angry at me. You can also say mamãe, which is mommy in English. Mom, hands. Also here we have a nasal sound. Mom. Remember to use your nose to say these words. A minha mão tem cinco dedos. My hand has five fingers. Mulher, woman. Mulher has this mulher, which is L-H. It's not that hard, right? Mulher. Onde fica o banheiro das mulheres? Where is the women's bathroom? Orelhão, payphone. I love this word in Portuguese because orelhão is big ear. And because Brazilians' payphones look like big ears here. Eu não consigo encontrar um orelhão. I can't find a payphone. Yeah, everyone has cell phone today. Quarteirão, block. So here you also have this nasal sound and the R, quar. It's not hard, but you need to practice that to, you know, be more fluent. But if you use the caipira accent, it would be quarteirão, which is easier for English speakers. There's also a McDonald's burger that is called quarteirão. It's really big. Trabalho, job. So also you have the R and the LH here, trabalho. You can also use the word trabalho to mean job and work. Eu gosto muito do meu trabalho. I really like my job. Or, eu tenho muito trabalho hoje. I have a lot of work today. Thank you.